Hello, hello, hello. It's your pal Joplus here and welcome back to Frostpunk. We are continuing immediately where we left off, where we're building more houses for the coming survivors. And how cold are they? They're chilly. That's all right. We can manage that. Add a guard tower right here, a guard station, to just raise some hope a bit, make people happy. That's what we need. That is what we need. Generator upgrade efficiency. Perfect. That should use a bit less fuel. Um, steam hub range. Uh, twice, but uses twice as much coal. Oof. A factory. Could lead to all sorts of things. Hmm. Food would be good. Healthcare insulation would be good. So would cookhouse insulation. Uh, we don't need fewer people hunting. We just need better hunters. <sighs> hunters hangar? Or health care insulation? Health care insulation. We're about to get really cold, so we'll go to the insulation and then we'll try and get the hunters. <sighs> Our, ugh. Okay, regular shifts for three days. <sighs> That's fine. No extended shifts for three days. It's about to get cut. Oh, God damn it! No food. Discontent rising. Hope is so low. It is so, so low. Oh, they've returned to the city with those people. That's fine. We need another child house, realistically uh, speaking, because it is... They don't have anywhere to do. They'll be cold. That guard tower needs a bunch of people working on it. Uh, is there anywhere without jobs? Anywhere we can shove more people to do some jobs? What did I click there? The Heavy Lowlander. No, that is... I could rename it this whole time? RT! RT! The Auto. The Auto. RT the Auto. Auto the Tom. RT the Auto. Yeah, RT the Auto is fine. Full caps. Nah. RT the auto. Perfect. RT the auto. It's about to get very cold. We're all going to freeze to death and die. Oh god, what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Discontent arise. I have to build propaganda. Ugh. I need a, I need a propaganda building right away. Oh my god, it's fucking massive. Oh, what a beast of a building. Good lord. Um, yeah, we'll chuck it out here. I hope it's warm by itself because lord knows I can't afford to warm it. Can't afford to warm it at all. Oh, and it's going to get cold when... Uh, all these... It's, they're all cold here. They're all going to get ill and sick. Uh, bunkhouse, cold homes. Oh, I can't, I, I can't address this right now. It's about to get freezing. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so, so sorry. It is about to get really cold really fast. I can't use the extended shift. Can I use an emergency shift? Will they allow me? Because I may have to. Um, ooh, what can we do to do this? What can we do? Child shelter. Can you? I wish you could rotate. Can I? Let me rotate it. Let me rotate this structure. It, it would make sense to rotate it, in my opinion. But I don't see how I can. Uh, that child shelter can nestle in there. And we will build a road to it. Perfect. And we're all going to die. Oh yes, we are all going to die. We have some hungry people. I don't know why. Um, oh, I'm going to have to go back to... Uh, why is that only 50%? One employee delivers. Going to eat. Eating. Okay. Okay. So it's because they were eating, that's why the efficiency was low. I never really noticed that before, that the efficiency was changing if people were eating and things. We built a propaganda centre. Oh! Oh, that hope! 
Oh, thank God. Oh, can we can we immediately do something? Can we immediately do a propaganda bulletin? Perfect. Do a propaganda bulletin as well. Oh, we need the hope. Yes. Yes. Oh, look at... Oh, that is a really... It really is a propaganda centre. Oh, good Lord. Oh, yeah. It's massive. It's lovely. It's warm. It's all people inside it doing their job. They're probably really happy. Look at that base heating. Free building insulation. Uh, it's going to get cold, though. It's going to get very cold very quickly. No one is no one is safe. No one can survive this. We're all doomed. Please, for the love of God, let us survive this. Let us be okay. I just want us to this generator looks so fucking cool. <laughs> it looks so cool at the moment. Like it's got all these sort of pumps and turbo pumps going along, I'm like yes. I think that was because of the uh efficiency upgrade. God damn it, more Londoners are stealing. We'll send the guards. We need the food. Um, okay, they've returned to the thing. We need to make our cookhouses back to soup and take the rise and discontent. Where are our cookhouses? Soup. Do we only have the one cookhouse? That's fine. Um, but it's going to be soup. Just because we're all about to starve and the guard succeeded. Fantastic. You guys, you need to go out to the research station. That's what you need to do. And then in research, I will look into an outpost depot. Next thing I can do. I just we gotta make it through the next these next coming days, guys. We gotta make through. Um uh, okay, they caught the person who did it. Fucking banish them. let them freeze to death. You know, banish them. Banish them. They can die. It doesn't matter. They need to go. Oh, it's going to get so cold. It's going to get so cold. It's going to get to minus 60. Everyone's going to die. The hope's going to fall. Oh, good lord, I'm not ready for it. People regain hope. Oh, they're about to lose it all. All hope's going to be lost. All hope's going to be lost very, very quickly. Oh, in a matter of minutes. Oh, here it comes. Everyone prepare yourselves. Prepare yourself for the big freeze. Here it comes. Oh, wrap up warm. Any moment now. Oh, it's coming. Oh, oh, it's so cold. It's so cold. Okay, heat is on. Heat is on, people. Let's turn these heaters on. Oh. What? Oh my god. The very cold. Oh, good lord. Oh no. Which means I need to do a steam hub out here. Like here? Yeah, that covers it. That will keep them alive at the cost of all our coal. It will keep them alive. Hmm. Can I get any more coal? Is there any room for another coal mine? Oh, let's turn the heaters on in all our coal mines. Let's just get the temperature up a little bit. They're freezing to death in there. Sawmill as well. Sawmill? Mm. I could just turn that off for the moment. I've got 400 odd wood. We'll turn off the sawmill because it's too cold. Uh, even with the heater, that's too cold. Okay, we'll turn that off for the moment. Operation's been halted. What's this? A child's shelter? It's still too cold. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's so cold with them. Well, no one's in there because it's too cold. It's very cold. Oh. Come on. Health care installation will help certain areas. The child shelters are all freezing. Heating. Hmm. Seam hub range. Overload couplings. Heat efficiency. Food and shelter. Cookhouse installation. 
possibly maybe it might be best to get mechanical calculators we can then move the houses okay we just got to make it through the next two days the next two days just make it through this very very cold period of time uh, our coal is kind of stable to be honest we've, we've got it in a point of stability I don't know how it's hovering around the 800 mark is anywhere too cold the child shelters are which is annoying but there's not really much I can do oh oh fuck Jesus. Captain, we found a boy frozen to the bone in the cemetery next to a fresh, gra fresh grave. He must have been there for hours. Uh, he wants you to call an emergency meeting. He says that if you agree, his mother will wake up to attend it. That's, um... That is really sad. That is really, really sad. Oh, Lord. Lord, help us. Lord, Lord, help us. I am at a loss with how we're going to keep our city alive. I've somehow managed, by sheer luck, to produce enough coal that we don't all freeze to death. And the temperature will rise back up to minus 40 in a couple days. So, that's good. That is good. Well, look, can our scouts freeze to death? I don't understand how they can't freeze to death. It's a bit... A bit worrying. The, the schoolhouses are all too cold, even with the heaters on. So... Not much I can do about that. I can turn these tents into bunkhouses though just so they're not all freezing that's the least I can do the sawmill is still going like it can still go it's currently closed due to how cold it is but it can get wood if need be and that one bunkhouse oh that one bunkhouse is just just not in the heater's range oh poor buggers Hmm. Working hours, 14 hour workday. Okay, so we can, yeah. I wish, wouldn't it make more sense to do it opposite? Because people really are only in their homes when the workday is over. So if we did it opposite the shifting hours, then we could save coal, heat them at night, and during the day they will go to their jobs. Now, not everyone's employed, but still. Oh, we're losing coal. We're losing quite a bit of coal. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. I'm going to have to look into getting more coal. Can I make it through the night? Come on. Make it through the. Oh my god, another theft. The Londoners are trying to kill me. They killed. Wow. We caught one of the thieves. Well, we're going to banish the thief. Um, he didn't kill the guard. Someone else did. But we're still going to banish the thief. Because he's, st he's stealing. And... Evil. Just evil. Come on. Get back to work, people. Get back to work. We need people working. Come on. Work, work, work. Come on, get to eight quickly. Oh, my God. Mechanical calculators researched. <laughs> this is... This is good. This is good. Houses. Still, I wish we could increase capacity of the houses. And the bunkhouses and things. Um, they're much more protected from the weather. Resources though. I need... More efficiency in coal mining. Or using steam power or just better coal because we'll take steam cores we'll go with the steam power actually we need much more coal than we are producing 
and very soon we can do another law and we're gonna go with the whatchamacallits um, what should we call it? The moonshine. Yes, the moonshine. We'll go with moonshine. And that will work well, I think. Oh, that poor. There's some of these poor houses freezing to death because they're just out of range of the steam hubs. Yeah. Do you, You're both travelling so far away. I think it's taking longer due to the weather. Oh, frostbite and the sickness is rising again. It's rising again. Hmm. Is there room for another medical post? No, there's not room anywhere in the inner ring for a medical post. What kind of heating insulation? It's got base level heating too. It requires a steam core. We could go and build another one further out. Hmm. Further out, and then it will freeze and the people will die. We'll see, we'll just keep an eye on the sickness. We'll see if it gets any better or worse. Forgot to add that extra guard there. Because we, we really need that. They've reached the ice corridor. Okay, please be something good. We're following the wide corridor of crushed ice that the American dreadnought, the USS, can't pronounce it, left in its wake. <laughs> Explore. It's a triumph of en engineering. We marvel at the thick slabs of ice that have been crushed and swept aside by the American dreadnought. I can't pronounce the name. <laughs> Soon we might be able to learn how it managed to accomplish such feats. We can see a huge silhouette in the distance, which, may, which might be its sister ship, Prometheus. Oh, let's go to Prometheus. Yeah. Let's hope. Come on, guys. We can make it through the day. Make it through this day and the temperature will rise. Uh, okay, and that lovely stink on mine has been researched. We're going to upgrade this one. Just do one to start. I don't want to use up all my steam cores. And whilst we're upgrading, our coal production is going to go down. There's not a lot of work left in the day. Add, turn the heater on. Add new research. Coal mining optimization. 10% more efficient. Okay, we can also go with houses, infirmaries, flying hunters for food, industrial hot houses. Um, bit better at producing food. Let's go with the outposts there. So that was going to do that. And then in laws, adaptation, moonshine, yes. Because we've caused less discontent with our soup. Alcohol is not really a smart thing in a frozen tundra. Just because it's, oh, it's dispersed the crowd. Just because it lowers your body temperature. It's one of those uh, persevering myths that alcohol warms you up, but it only does so by making your actual temperature much colder than it is. And it could be. There's no inhabitants in here. Is that because it's too cold, or do we have enough housing? Probably both. That's fine. I mean, I don't mind that. Yeah, these, these are not all fully occupied. Let's dismantle then. Just so we know that that area is not a good area for housing. So we'll dismantle that. They're going that way, they're going that way, that's all fine. The temperature will rise thankfully before we burn through all our coal because we are going to burn through all our coal which isn't good and oh my god it's freezing it's freezing in both these buildings how okay good Iceman Dreadnought most of the machinery aboard the USS Prometheus has been dismantled and taken away the massive steam hammer used to split the thickest ice slides broken by the ship's bow 
So I'm guessing that uh, the Prometheus, as it was breaking the ice, it's the hammer broke and it got stuck. And so they sort of salvaged what they could and then left it and probably a lot of the people on it to die. Uh, it's been stripped of motion machinery. Enough steel to establish an outpost, though, just from the hull. Um, on the bridge, Tesla's last orders. Transfer all supplies and abled body survivor, uh, survivors aboard that I can't pronounce the name. Take the empties only if you have the prosthesis to make them useful. Hmm. Oh, that is not good. Um, should... We'll send them to the supply depot and then immediately back. Immediately back afterwards. Temperature's gonna rise soon. Come on, temperature. I'm going to run out of coal in a few hours. This is not good. This is not good. Oh no. Research station. The doors of the research station have been bashed in. There are signs of fighting inside. Broken furniture, damaged scientific instruments, and splatters of blood. Mm. Inside the ransack station, we found Tesla's audio diary. A voice speaks. All the absurd changes, like suns dimming, volcanic ash, could not have caused such cooling. But what if the huge quake of 1887 in Patagonia was an asteroid strike? There's shouting, crashes, and then silence. Numerous tracks lead from the door towards the mountains. Let's, we'll send this guy, these lot, to the cave hideout. And then a, immediately back. Ooh, poet's suicide. Oh, I'm a po I like poetry. I write my own poems. Um, so that's quite sad for me. So one of our people has committed suicide. In his spare time, he wrote poems about loss, suffering, and the death of hope. That's also very similar to my material. Uh, I find that misery is a great muse for poetry, so most of my po poems are absolutely miserable. Um, phew, wage campaign. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, so this is my fault, actually, because our propaganda centre decided to torment the bugger for expressing his expressing his negative emotions um and protect our people of people's fragile minds from it um oh my god we're not going to burn his poem no stay away from it we'll take the loss of hope i can't live with myself otherwise we'll just we'll just have to accept the loss of hope it's not a massive loss. It's one that we can survive. <sighs> we need, realistically, enough for infirmary. Uh, there's only... There's only ill people. There's no one gravely ill. Where's... Where can we put this? Where can we put this? We'd have to dismantle things. The city setup now is coming back to bite me. It's not fantastic, is it? Hmm. Out here somewhere. Somewhere where we can expand and place a uh, steam core? Steam hub? Steam hub. That's where we'll place the next infirmary. Hopefully, though, when the temperature rises, it's going to start going down. So I'm going to just leave it and hope. Oh, God. Come on, Cole. Come on, Cole. Yes, scouts have reached the supply depot. Explore it. The shack is falling apart, but its contents still have some use. Great. Valuable supplies. Oh, thank God. Take resources. And a stone ship? And snow covered supplies. I'm curious about the the stone ship. We'll go for the snow covered supplies. Uh just because we want more. And then afterwards we'll go stone ship and back. I really need to bring them back with the resources. But it'll be okay. And the temperature has risen now back to minus forty, which means that uh all these places in the centre, the cookhouse and the infirmary heater was off, but all these medical posts 
will turn off their heaters just because they're burning few few yeah through coal at a ridiculous rate. Uh, what about these outposts? They are cold. Realistically, we need to keep the heaters on for them. It's annoying. I would rather not. But it's, they're going to have to. And we're going to turn this back on to get some more wood. It's livable. The steam coal mine, that's got an automaton in it. It doesn't need any heating. The public house is fine. All right. We turn that off. Turn it on. Resume operation. Resume operation, people. Uh, let's explore the cave hideout. We climbed up to the cave. A lone stone wall, stone wall stands across its entrance. Behind it, we can see several men. Oh, not more survivors. Uh, a few tired men. As we approach the cave, the in its inhabitants pull out rifles and take positions behind the wall, barring the entrance. They are in bad shape, weak from malnourishment and illness. Uh, talk to them. Or talk to them. God damn it, we all talk. Nothing like small talk. Seeing that we have no Ill, Ill intentions, the Americans told us how they dealt justice to the inventor after expelling him from his city. We buried Tesla's battered body in the cave and are heading home with these poor wretches in tow. I didn't say, I didn't, I just wanted to talk to them. I didn't necessarily want to rescue them. They, they've decided that I am rescuing them because they know me so well. They know that all I can do is rescue. Oh, dear Lord. Which means more housing must be built. More and more housing. Alright. Where are we going to build the housing? Alright, one here. Will that qualify as being part of the watchtowers? Influence, maybe. Possibly... What about over here? One here. One here. Yeah, we'll do them here. Oh dear lord, come on, research faster. We want more resources. Promise fulfilled. Oh, thank God. Look at that hope rise. Yes. Look at how much we've turned the tides, people. The discontent was up here. The hope was down here. Now it's reversed. It has reversed. And the scouts have reached snow-covered supplies. What have they found? Uh, it's in deep snow. Many crates full of supplies. Take the resources. Only, well, it's 41 food. That's literally nothing for us right now. Oh, a damaged snow cat. How much resources have these guys got? They have tons. Let's bring them back to the city. It's going to take them over a day. But we need the resources back here with us. Uh, and then let's research something new. Uh, generator power upgrade. Or generator range. Increase the range. And then uh, we've researched an outpost depot. If we find where is it? Here. How do we create? <laughs> okay, we've researched an outpost depot. How do we do it? Do we send the scout team to it? And then that creates the outpost? Oh, no, we need. Oh, that is massive. All right. We'll chuck that there. We'll build a road to it. And then we will build our lovely outpost. Our city has gotten uh, quite big. I'm happy with how big it's gotten, but yeah, it's gotten big. Now that wasn't connected down there. Sometimes you miss these little connections and it's very uh, frustrating. I think now is probably a good time to wrap up this episode whilst this road builds. Um, just going to double check that everything is functioning as it should. Oh my god. In two days we're going to have massive heat drops. So we're going to really invest in coal. And <laughs> just making sure we have heaters 
and steam hubs and everything upgraded, no more tents. We need to really replace medical posts with uh, with more infirmaries. However, I don't think one will fit there, even if I destroy both. Let's ha let's have a look. Health, infirmary. There's one there. It would take, it would destroy that house and the medical post, but then it would fit. So we'd need to get more housing. So we'd replace both of these with another infirmary. Yes, but, I mean, yes, it makes sense. But we're not actually getting any increased capacity going. And we are going through so much food. People are constantly, we're constantly on the verge of starvation. If it gets to the point where our hunters can't go out to hunt, um, we're doomed. We are doomed. Okay, now as night's falling and we're about to approach a new day, it is time to stop. Oh, look at that. They have like little elevators and things. Let's create an out. <laughs> look at that. That's, isn't that fun? They're going up and down, up and down. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Outpost team. Where is the coal? Coal mine. That is the best outpost there is. We've explored all this area, I'm quite glad. And now there's tons to explore over here. But that can all wait till the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. But whatever. Have fun, have a great day. Bye bye.